Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, not in my cider shed, in a motel in Wales with some more cider and pairing to try. And uh, quite special, I say that a lot, it's quite special, but I, I taste a lot of special stuff. I'm a lucky man, uh, but I was visiting several producers today. First off, I was at Greg's Pit, which is where we're going to start. And then I went on to Butford Organics, and I'm going to do another film after this one, tasting some, something that he gave me, Martin. Then I went to <gasps> Ross and Rye, tasted loads of stuff there, Albert at Ross and Rye out of um, barrels, and we watched, walked through the orchards. It was fab, it was a beautiful day. And then I went to Tybrid in Wales, and now I'm in a motel room just off the A40 in Monmouthshire. And I've just done a cheese tasting as well. I didn't film that, but I put it up on Instagram, so have a look at that if you're interested. Uh, tried five cheddars. And I'm going to pair some of those cheddars with some of these ciders when I finish this film. And that's going to be my supper. Right, so what have we got? Well, excitingly, two bottles with no label on whatsoever. So which is which? Uh, hang on. All right. This one's a Perry. This one's a cider. I tried them today with James. It's the first time he tried them as well. They've been in bottle for about, I think, about uh, five weeks, something like that. So they've got some sparkle, not fully sparkling yet. I can't remember what the blends are because I, I, I spoke to so many people today about so many things and tasted quite a lot of cider and perry that I've completely forgotten, but I've just emailed him. So I'll put it on the screen when I remember. I think, I think it's Blakeney Red Button Old Field. I think, but I could be wrong. I could be totally off the mark, but I'll put it on the screen anyway. And the cider, I can't remember again. It's Chisel Jersey, I think, and I've sold this stuff before. I've sold this blend, both of them, but... Can't remember. I'll put them on the screen. Anyway, so let's start with the Perry, shall we? So it's pretty fizzy, even though. And I even bought, look at this. I even brought a tasting glass with me because I'm sick of drinking out of crappy plastic cups in motels. What you want is something decent if you're drinking something decent. And that is a decent tasting glass. Put that there. Let's take this cork out. It's pretty fizzy, I think. Pop! Look at that. Smoking gun. How about that? This is going to be pretty sparkling when it's finished. So there you go. Nice colour. Light. I haven't got my thingy jig. Have I got something I can use as a thingy jig? Yeah. I'm the back of this. It's my searching for the soul of cheddar sheet. And, uh, hang on. Hang on. I'll transfer these to a proper spreadsheet. But there's my scores for the cheddars that I just tried. I'm not going to read them out. Right. And what was I doing? I was doing that one. Eh? There you go. So there you go. Hazy green gold, I want to say that is. Pretty thing, pretty thing. Nice with it already. Let's have a sniff. And it smells absolutely flipping great, this. We tried it still out of fermenter. I think I got a bagging box of this. I think I got a bagging, no. It might say on the bagging box in the car. Anyway, of this, it smelled amazing out of fermenter. It's got the same aromatics uh, sparkling out of the bottle, um, but it's obviously going to be drier because it's, it's fermenting in the bottle it's converting those sugars to bubbles um amazing nose it's almost what is it it's like it's almost nutty there's like a sweet nuttiness to it which is absolutely fab and it smells very venous like a really good wine um white wine loving the nose hints of pear in the background hints of sort of pear drop in the background there's that it's almost like a savory nutty character up front it just makes my mouth water it's fantastic i love it yeah, let's try it. Mm. Very gentle sparkle, but nice. That sort of slightly nutty character comes through on the palate, but it's got minerality, subtle fruit, delicate bubbles. It will get fizzier. It's a great transition from nose to palate, this. The nose is really rich. On the palate, it's more refreshing, cleaner, drier, crisper. Because it's got that rich nose, you get the best of both worlds. I really like it. I really like it. It's not finished conditioning yet. It's going to be pretty dry. It's pretty dry already. There's a hint of residual sweetness in there. From the sort of fermenting sugar. Probably sorbitol as well. Um, but yeah. Really excited to try this. First time he tried it as well. He pulled a bottle out of the rack, cracked it open, and we drank it. We tasted it. So we had, I'll, I'll put a photograph up on my Instagram. So he put the glasses and the bottles. He's got a, an ancient cider press. 
So we, we, we did the tasting off the engine side press in the orchard at Greg's pit. Yeah, tell me about it. Right, let's try the cider. Eminently comparable that. So the cider, hadn't fermented that quite so much. Um, so it's still got quite a lot of sweetness. It's just keyed up. So it should have some residual sweetness. Again, I can't remember what it is. Chiseled Jersey, uh, White Pippin, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but let's open it up. See, less of a pop. It's not actually still, still got a smoking gun going on there. Oh, that's going to be darker in colour. Obvs. And it is. So, obviously cider. Look at the difference in colour. Amber colour. Very, very nice. Hazy. Um, give it a sniff. I mean, obvious sort of ta ta tan. Caramel on the nose this. I mean, this screams keep cider. It really does. Yeah. Screams keeps keep cider. Pastry, um, burnt sugar, caramel, apple. Wonderful. Brilliant keeps knows that. Absolutely banging. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it smells fantastic. It smells fantastic. It's one of the one of the best key noses I can remember. One of the best key noses I can remember having for ages. Make sense of that, what you will. Right, let's try it. Super gentle sparkle. So this has got quite a lot of conditioning to do still. Still quite a lot of sweetness in there, but it's natural sweetness from the apple. Minerality, skin-like quality. But there's that ta ta tan thing. There's that baked apple with the demerara, the sugar, the caramel. It's all going on in there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having this when it's fully fermented, when it's fully conditioned, because even now it's fab. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, folks, yes. Hint of uh, melon, cantaloupe, uh, honeydew melon. In there is what I'm getting now, actually. Just got it on the back end. It's like the bit close to the to the to the to the rind. You know what I mean? Something like a, uh, it's like a, like a minerally almost con like, um, element to it. Really good, really good. How look around to try these two to be gifted to, to try and be gifted these two bottles from Greg's Pit. Thank you, James. Thank you very much indeed. Brilliant host today. Made me a coffee when I got there because I had to go about five this morning to drive there for God's sake. Show me all around the orchards. Beautiful day. Had a great time. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me in this motel room in South Wales. I hope you join me again. But until that time, cheers. <laughs>